Hey y'all, back again with another video. So I just want to say this. If you don't like somebody, don't try to convince other people to not like them. If you unsubscribe to someone or unfollow someone, don't try to get other people to unsubscribe and unfollow them. If I don't like somebody, I'm a I'm a not I'm a like the I'm not gonna like them alone. Oh, if that makes sense. I'm gonna like them alone. I'm not gonna like them alone. I'm not gonna try to convince other people to not like someone because I don't like them. That don't make sense. You know, so no one can convince me to unfollow someone or unsubscribe to someone or dislike someone because someone else don't like them. Like, you got to use your own mind, your own brain and decide if, you know, you don't like somebody or you want to decide, you know, you, you know, you want to decide if you don't like someone or not or unfollow or unsubscribe to someone. It got to be your choice, you know, because. Not everybody, just because one person or a few people don't like somebody don't mean that everybody's not going to like them. You know, like maybe that person, they did something to, you know, for them that, for that person to not like them, but you're not going to convince me. They didn't do nothing to me for me to not like, you know, unlike them or they didn't do nothing to me to make me unsubscribe or unfollow them. Now they said something to make, make me want to, then yeah. But if that person then you know disrespect me, I'm not unsubscribing, I'm not unfollowing, or I'm not gonna, you know, dislike them. Just because you don't like them, don't mean I have to not like them. Just because you unsubscribe to them or unfollow them, don't mean I have to unsubscribe or unfollow them. You know what I'm saying? So people, use your mind. Use your own judgment, your own discretion to decide if you don't like someone or not. If you don't, you don't. If you do, you do. Like, I mean, if someone don't like somebody, I'm not going to, you know. So, I know I've talked about this before. I know I did. I mentioned this, but this came to my mind today because I seen someone on social media just bashing this woman. You know, and it's like, and the lady said... She's been doing it for two years, you know, trying to get people to unsubscribe to her, unfollow her and everything. And that's bad when you, your sole purpose is to make someone's day a living hell. So God gave you another day to see, gave you another day just to make someone else life hell. I mean, when people get up and they sole purpose is to make someone's day bad, need a life. And need a mental check. For real. Because. I mean. Every day above the ground is, is, is a gift. But if you taking that to make someone else miserable. I mean. Why are you here? If you're going to make someone's life miserable. If your sole purpose. Is to get up every morning. To see whose life you can ruin. That's no way to live. So. In other words, you're happy if someone else is miserable. I, I don't get that. Like, you get you got another day to make it right. Why are you wasting it to make someone else's day a living hell? And the thing is that you don't know what this person's already dealing with. And your silly behind going to go right and, and add on, you know? They could have just lost a loved one. They can be on the verge of a nervous breakdown and you're going to come with your big, you know, self or disrespectful self and add on to it. You never know what the next person is going through. You never know. You know? Like when I get up every morning, I thank God and my, I don't ruin my, 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 my agenda of the day is not to ruin someone else's day, you know? I mean, and I know it's, it takes less energy to disrespect somebody to, to bring someone down. No, it takes more energy to do that. And it's less energy to make, you know, people day good, you know, but you want to spend all your energy just to ruin someone else's day. Like, you never know what someone is going through. I mean, just because you're having a bad day don't mean you got to make everybody else have a bad day. 
You know, sometimes you have a bad day on your own. Don't drag other people in, in your, 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 your sorrows and your, you know, your, your misery, you know. Misery do love company. And it's sad. The reason I have this hat on, I just came from outside. I just, I just sat down because I just had to say this. I just came from outside. That's why I still got my hat on and my jacket on and stuff. I just came from outside. And I said, let me just sit here and, um, you know, do this video. But yeah, so, I mean, I don't understand how people can make other people's life miserable because they're miserable. It's sad. It's really sad. Y'all probably wondering, why she got a thing of yogurt right there? Yep. But anywho, it's empty. But um, I was just showing my husband which yogurt I get. But anywho, I mean, which hope I want him to go get. But um, yeah, so I don't understand how somebody can make someone else's life a living hell. Just because their life is a living hell. You know? We are human. We go through things in life, you know? But just because you having a bad year or whatever, don't mean you got to go and bash someone for the whole year. And it's like this this person, and, and, I mean, cyberbully, bullying, and, you know, that's bad. And I don't like bullies. I don't. Anybody who keep disrespecting them, saying them, um, calling them out their name and you know, that's that's not good. I mean, I'm going to tell you something. What you put out into the universe is going to come back to you. What you, it's like a boomerang thing, you know, like what you throw out into the universe is coming back to you, whether it's good or bad. So if you treat somebody bad or, 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 or bully somebody, guess what? When you get up there in age... Someone's going to treat you the same way you treated someone else. And I'm going to tell you something. Karma or whatever y'all call it. God's wrath or whatever. The thing about, the scary thing about karma is that you don't know when it's going to come to you. Good or bad. Be like, if you do something to someone, how DMX say? The late great DMX. You do dirt, you get dirt. Yeah, you do bad, you get you, something bad happens to you. But yeah, I don't know if I described it right, but yeah, how you and, and let me tell you something. The thing about karma too is that it may not come to you. It may come to someone you love. Like how you treat somebody, they may treat you that someone else may treat you that way when you get older. Or your loved one you would you want that? You want somebody to pick on your your grandma, your mother, your dad? Why? Why take the time out your day to treat someone bad? Why? You know what happens, right? When you treat someone bad, it comes back to you. And it may not even be you, it may be your kids. So that's what I'm saying. I don't wish bad on nobody, but how you treat somebody It goes around. What goes around comes back around. Okay. What Beyonce said. What goes around comes around. Okay. So how you treat people, people's going to treat you. Do you want somebody bullying you, disrespecting you? Why? Why even waste your time and your energy to disrespect somebody and bully somebody? You know? Many, many are young, few are old. Why? It's because how you treat people, don't you know when you do evil to people, you know, it happens back to you. It may not be you per se. It, it may be like, your kids, like how, 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 you, okay, let's say for example, like when you were a kid, you was bad, right? You gave, you put your mom and your dad through a lot of trouble, right? Going back and forth to the school. Don't you know when you have kids, they're going to treat you the same way you treat your parents? How you was treating your parents, that's how your kids going to act. I think that's karma. And I think how you treat people, 
good or bad, it comes back to you. So if you want pe treat people how you want to be treated. Mm-hmm. So if you treat people good, people are going to treat you good. You treat people bad, people are going to treat you bad. So, you know, like, they may not, and, and karma may not hit you right away, come back to you right away. It may take years, but it's coming. So if you want to, if your sole purpose is to bully people on the internet, you may not get bullied on the internet, but get up there in old age. Somebody going to do what you did to, so what you did to people when you were younger, you get up there in age. Cause this person is, is bullying this elderly, this older person. I don't know how old she is. So I'm not going to say elderly, but older woman on social, on social media. And she said, I think it's been two years this lady been trying to, you know, come for her, been bothering, harassing her, and and, 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 and and bullying her. So guess what? What you did to that el that older woman, someone's going to do that to your mom, your grandma, your dad, or even you when you get older. Do you want to be bullied in your, in, your, in your golden years? Not saying that she's golden, but not saying that, you know, but... You want to be bullied in your golden years, your older years? Why do dirt to people? Why treat people bad? Why be dis... Listen, I have a soft spot. I have a part of my space in my heart for the elderly. I would not want nobody to treat my mom, my dad, rest in peace, my dad and my grandma, the way this person is treating this person. I don't even want to be treated like that. You know? Like, social media is supposed to be an escape from your real life. You know? Social media is supposed to be an escape. But if you got to go on social media and deal with people bullying you, how are you supposed to escape? I don't, I don't understand it. How are you supposed to escape So. You know, some people, some people use social media as, you know, an escape outlet. You know, I go on social media, I post food because, you know, I love to post food. I love to cook. I love to bake. So I post that stuff. And sometimes I do a little dancing here and there. It's fun. But I'm not coming on these platforms to bring anybody down. I'm not. So, I don't know. Oh, excuse me. And y'all know what today is? Oh, my stomach is. I, I would get up, but I, it may change. Let me see. What's today's date? Friday the... Okay. I'm not superstitious. But I'm saying, like... If you don't want people to treat you bad, don't treat people bad. And I'm sorry about the lighting because my the light is off. But if you want people to treat you, if you want, if you don't want to be treated bad, don't treat people bad. You know, if you want to, you know. But sometimes the good too get taken advantage of. But anywho, that's no here or there. But um, I'm going to end this video, and I know I didn't do my intro because this was been a short video. But, um, y'all, if y'all don't have nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all, okay? Keep it to yourself. Say it to, you know, amongst yourself, how you, you know, you know but I don't know. Some people's sole purpose is just to make someone's day a living hell. But, some, I don't know, sometimes people see good in you. Or they see that your channel is prospering or your platform is prospering and they're stagnated. Sometimes it can be jealousy and they just trying to get you out so that, you know, they don't have to see you no more. But I hope that person, that woman stays strong and don't um let this person run them on social media. I first followed this woman on TikTok. You know, I first saw her on TikTok. She does an amazing job. I, I love her videos. This woman that's getting bullied, 
by another another black woman. And it's sad that, okay, this is sad because it be your own kind that brings you down. You know, like, what's that? What's that show? Can we all get along? Can we all just get along? Like, the thing that bothers me is that when it's a white person beating on a black person, it's Black Lives Matter. But what happens when a black person is beating on a black person? Does black lives still matter? Or is it only when there's another race attacking the black race? I'm just saying. I I, I mean, I mean, because all lives matter, y'all. Don't get me wrong. All lives do matter. But I'm just saying on this, for, for this, you know, I'm just saying this. Black lives only ma- seem to only matter when there's another race attacking the black race. But how about when black race is attacking its own race? Does the life still matter? Does black life still matter? Or does, does that only apply to the other race attacking the black race? I'm asking for myself. Because it applies to all. All lives do matter. You know? But when it's your own kind bringing you down, what? And it's sad that I'm not even going to go there with that. But it is sad when it's your own race. We supposed to be lifting each other up. You know, we already been, you know, our ancestors already been beat down, torn down through slavery. Why can't we all just get together? Why can't we all just, you know, we all want to band together when it's, you know, white cops killing black boys and, you know. I mean, we should, this is the more reason why we should all stick together and ban, you know, because of what's going on in the world today. That's why we, as a black race, should be more close to each other, holding each other, lifting each other up, encouraging one another. You know, you see another queen's crown crooked, you fix it, you know, you see a king's crown, you fix it, you know, instead of tearing, we are ready. I'm not going there, y'all. I'm not going there because. Can we all just get along? I think Martin said that. But yeah, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video if you care. Hit that notification bell to be notified. And I will see you guys in the next video. Y'all have a blessed. Y'all have a blessed day. Y'all stay safe. Enjoy your day in spite of what today is because, I mean, for me, it only means Tuesday the 17th is right around the corner if you a psych fan. Okay, Tuesday the 17th. Whenever there's a Friday the 13th, I know Tuesday the 17th is coming. Psych day. Hey, hey, hey. get excited about day. But I ain't putting on no Chucky. <laughs> I'm avoiding all movie, horror movies today. I mean, I know they say Tuesday the seventh, um, third, Friday the thirteenth is what, um, whatever they say about it. And this man keep calling me while I'm talking. All right, y'all. Until next time. Y'all have a blessed day. See y'all in the next video. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video if you care. Hit that notification bell to be notified. If my husband called one more time while I'm on this phone. All right, y'all. Oh, I know I'm supposed to do my welcome, welcome subscribers. Welcome, welcome to my new and old subscribers. You know all that. All right, y'all.